Hi, my name is Nick Anderson, and today I'm going to teach you how to import a .patch file, or a patch, into Logic Pro X so that you can use it in your sessions. This might be something you downloaded from the internet, got from a friend, or maybe it's just a stray file that ended up on your desktop and you need to get it back into Logic. It is worth noting uh, that there's a bunch of different file types that can be imported into Logic. This is specifically for a .patch file. If you have a .cst file, a .pst file, or a Logic template, that is a different thing, but I do have other videos explaining how to import those into Logic as well, and those are in the description below. If you don't know what file type you have, you can right-click on your file, click Get Info, and then you'll find it in there. All right, let's get into it. So you can see I have my sample patch right here. The first thing we need to do is open our finder. Now, I want to make sure that your finder looks the same as mine, so we're going to click Finder in the toolbar here, and then click Preferences, and then Sidebar at the top there. And then we're going to make sure that our home is selected to show. So mine is called Nick Anderson Mac Mini. Yours will be called something different, whatever you named your computer when you first set it up. It might even be down here, um, but find that home icon and make sure it's selected. After that, we can exit out of Preferences, and then we're going to find that home icon that we just had show up in our uh, sidebar here. We're going to click on that. Then we're going to find Music, then Audio Music Apps, and then we're going to find patches because we've got a dot .patch file. So we'll click patches. Then we're going to click audio. And this is where we'll drag our dot .patch file. So here's my sample patch dot .patch. I'll drag that in there. Cool. All right. And then to make sure it worked, I'm going to open up a new logic file. Do an audio track. And then I'm going to open up my library and check under user patches. Yep, there it is, sample patch. That loaded it, and there is the whole patch, and that is it. I hope you found this video super helpful. Make sure to subscribe if you liked the video. I do have other videos explaining how to make presets, on how to make patches, and how to install all kinds of different things. If you prefer a manual, like an instruction manual type version of these t instructions, I do have a free install manual on my website that I'll include in the description below, and that explains how to import all these different types of files into Logic, .cst, .pst, patch, Logic Pro templates, and it's all free on my website. All right, check out some of my other videos, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.